name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God with joy, with expectation, and with a sense of the saving power of God in our life. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness, set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will, put, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise 
Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Praise to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we're not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized. There he remained. Many came to see him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. The Father is in me, and I am in the Father. My brothers and sisters, today Jesus revealed to us the internal reality of God, the internal being of God. Ultimately, the word in speak of a mystery that is beyond our human mind. Of beyond our human reasons. This is a kind of mystery that can only be known if God himself wants to reveal it. This is the difference. The difference between philosophy and theology. Philosophy is a set of way that a human mind can infer about the things of God. But theology speak up re re revelation itself. Speak up God reveal himself. So today we have a choice to make. Our choice is this. Do we believe that Jesus came from the Father, or not? Do, you, do we truly believe these revelations? Seven and eight grade. This question pertains to you as well. Because often time in our life, the faith that we live, it wasn't really 
it doesn't really come out of the heart. It doesn't really come out of our own conviction and our, and our own realizations. So today, this is the invitation. God is saying, Jesus is the Son of God who is being sent. So answer that question for yourself. Do you believe or not? Because the deepest sense of believing is a sense of missions. Jesus say, I am sent, I am consecrated, and I am sent by the Father. That is clearly a mission. So the job of a believer is to realize our own missions in the world. To whom and to what are you sent into and to be? This is not anything abstract. This is a real and live reality that we face every single day. This is to truly live our day-to-day -day ordinary life in an extraordinary manner. To realize deep in our heart the mission that God has the mission that truly comes from faith, from the conviction of, yes, I do believe that you are the Son of God. That, yes, your revelation has everything to do with my own life. And, yes, your salvation is a source of my being, O oh God. With the same trust Jeremiah had in God's providence, let us bring him in our prayers and petitions. For all seminarians and prospective religious, may God bless their efforts of study and discernment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in the promotion of peace and the resolution of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who suffer hardship for the sake of the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit grant them the grace of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those in this community of worship preparing to receive the Easter sacraments, May the love of Christ embrace them ever more deeply during this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. For the sick of our parish, may God heal their body and their soul, and especially for Vivian Abeta. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, and especially for Dr. Joseph Munoz, may Christ welcome them to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray for the, to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. Prayer. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, mercy and love, we praise you along with your servant Jeremiah. We humbly ask you to hear the prayers and petitions we bring before you today. Through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through, for through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is it truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father? Almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Tan, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let, Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, for only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And ask the field your communion. My Jesus, I believe that your presence is a most holy sacrament. I, I love, love you above, above all things, things and I desire to receive you into my soul. soul. Since, Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you if you are already there, there and unite myself wholly to you. you. Never, Never permit me to be separated from you. From you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint Michael Go the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
instruction by the front, confession will be on, on the right side, on the left side here. Okay, whoever wants it, please line up on the left side here by the Ramada. Thank you.